Okay, I just remember I did not record any footage prior, any footage before I actually dismantled my Jameses to put them, to put them together and restore them. But basically, if you haven't seen my last video, I got two more Tommy James from a flea market. One which has a tender, and another which didn't. What I have, what I have in mind with the tenderless James, is using his parts to restore my my first flea market James, which I got in this video, and to restore the other James, which has a broken running board and has a broken wire. After this restoration, I will have two working James. One. My original flea market James from from months ago will be my personal James, which will be based after my AU James, and my and the other James, the tender James that I got from the flea market yesterday, will be my stock standard James, which James if you would have got him from Walmart, Target, or whatever store that sells Trackmaster. Anyway. <coughs> Let's get on with the video and I hope you enjoy. Okay, so this is my original flea market, James, from um, this video to make it more simpler for y'all to understand. So yeah, the wheel from this James and uh, his face is also from this James. The reason why I switched the faces is this is what I have in mind. So um, this will be my mint. Uh, like this will be my stock standard James. And what I'm planning on doing is basically putting the running board, putting the running board, basically giving this James, of course, the new running board from this James, but also this, and also this shell since it has its original window stickers, and also this face from this James since it hasn't been yellowed. So I will have a, but also yeah. Unfortunately, the shell with the uh, still intact window stickers have a chipped dome, unlike this James, which has a still perfect dome. But hey, I can uh, repaint the dome. So yeah, this James is now complete. Okay, so I couldn't get a screw out from the back of chain, so I just have to break his uh, shell off. No worry, I have this. I have this just in case. Also, while trying to pull him off, I, I completely broke the ring board. Oh well. Also, look how filthy that motor is. God damn, thank goodness for this restoration. Okay, so we basically just destroyed the running board and chassis and and also uh, damaging the uh, boiler and body in the process. This is why we I this is why I bought two Jameses at that flea market. Oh so this motor was filthy, had sand all over it. Thank goodness we bought two. Well, I bought two. Y'all did nothing. No offense. But yeah, the chassis was very brittle. 
Probably because I was manhandling off just to get this motor free. That way I could put the new chat, the new body on. But I think it's also because, well, it's also sun faded. Just look at James's face. And also some light, uh, yellowish, yeah, this yellowish plastic, no, this, all this yellow plastic came from, uh, when I was, when the face just broke off from the, yeah. Anyway, back to manhandling this off, that way I could put this new body on. Alright, for the sake of organization, here's all the parts that I'll be using. Well, I'll be... Here are all the parts all out there. We got the tender. We have the shell of tender to James, which now is junk. Along with this face from, I think it's from tenderless James, but. No, it belongs to this James. Definitely. And now we got mint, near mint James right here. With the window still, still in one piece, the stripes, well, they could use a bit of touching up, but it's perfect nonetheless. White face, not yellowed. And we got two motors. I'm going to use this one since it came from the tender, James, and all that, and the wires match up with the tender. These side rods came from my first flea market, James, which is on the way out. Yeah, I'm going to use these for another engine. And yeah, loads of things to put together. But this should be very simple. Right, so after drowning the motor in soapy water since I couldn't unscrew it, since the screws are actually very tight on this. But anyway, so after drowning it in soapy water which is still works i just gotta lubricate it that way it won't sound like it's grinding and drowning anyway now i'm gonna solder it with my dreaded soldering iron which and the wires have been resoldered and to hide and to keep the wires together and to hide my poor soldering skills i put electrical tape around these wires red for of course red and black for blue Pretty simple. Now, if I just, I'm gonna just steal your battery real quick and on my games. <laughs> Perfect. James is done! I just need some traction tires for him. Um, who can I steal from? Ugh, there's so much shit everywhere! Ah! Um... I uh, know they all still work. Um... No... Okay, so I have to steal some traction tires... Uh, some traction tires from my first trackmaster, Molly. But I can just get her some, but I can get her some new ones in the future. But, um, yeah, James, my near mint condition, James is complete. So, if I just grab my other James, let's recap on, on parts that were used. Alright, so I'm gonna uh, talk over the recording because, well, earlier I didn't know how to explain... Categorize which engine is which until after making the video. So, yeah, we're now we're gonna go over which part I will use for which engine. So, for James one, I use James three's face and wheels. James two basically use use the entire body of James three, but also uses. James's one face, and I believe that's it. Everything else on James two is original except for the wheels, since what well, all wheels look the same. So, 
Yeah, who cares if one wheel came from another James and another wheel came from another James? They all work. Right. That was actually simpler than what was originally recorded. So, I'm going to just show y'all some running footage in. Actually, no, we already saw you run. You need to see him run. And I believe he's going to run way better than James, than my first James. <laughs> So I know some people will have a hard time telling these differences apart, so I'm gonna just explain the differences. For one, um, somewhat mid condition James has the window stickers, better striping, the stickers are a bit more intact, and on that, he has a white connection with these wires exposed. My uh, James, oh, this my first James, well, he got he has a black connecting his stickers nearly gone he doesn't his window stickers are gone and he does he barely have any stripes plus there's a little there's a gap <clears throat> where is the smoke box supports are I accidentally broke them while trying to get this face off of James 3 right enough of, enough about the confusion let's get these in there. Yeah, my first James is kind of limping along, but it's going at the same pace as the other James, slightly. Actually, no, it's going a bit slower. But right, I'm gonna just end the video off here. I might do a follow-up video with uh, this James, with the painted stuff to match my AU James, and just James with a but a repainted dome and I might replace the stickers entirely in fact but we'll see let me just boom thank you guys for watching and have a good day